man. Okay, what I'm doing today is just a revised version of um, what I did on my other on my channel, um, Asian Hot Pot, specifically Cambodian barbecue sauce used in it. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients one by one. Um, Please forgive me for the other video, um, although I was buzzing the other video, this is completely sober and everything is legit, everything is legible and you can understand me. So, um, I want you to come over here. What you want to do first, and I put it in order, you need two cans of coconut milk. I used a combination of coconut cream and I used a comp, you know, coconut milk combination of those two bottles and then next I waited for that to boil after that boil I poured in the uh, Cambodian barbecue sauce which is not really barbecue sauce but it's barbecue sauce in our our language so I poured about two large cans jars right here in one small jar and then after that I went ahead and poured in um, Thai tom yum or tom yum um, paste, and I used two jars of that of this size and a small jar after that, and I waited for that to cook in with the um, you know the coconut milk, so for about two minutes. Um, you want to occasionally stir it. And I've already had this all done, so this this video can be you know be quick. And then you can take a look at it and see how you know the sauce looks. Okay. So I'm already done doing this. Um, all I have to do now. The other ingredients that you need is, and it's up to you how many can of quail eggs you want to put in there, but once everything is fully cooked in there, I want to just add maybe one or two cans um, in there and just warm it up so that, that way you have it ready for, for it to be served. So um, in my case, I have one, two, three, four, five cans. And you want to get this prepared before anything else. And this is the kind that I use, the rice noodles. And it has three elderly lady on there. Um, so you can get it from the Vietnamese restaurant or, you know, any other Asian, um, not the Vietnamese restaurant, but the uh, Vietnamese supermarket. So do that first, then this, then this, barbecue sauce, and then the hot and sour paste. Then you want to add a little bit of um, it's called soybean curd sauce, and you just add maybe five drops of it on there. And after that, once that is all finished, what really makes the sauce this this high or this large is you know these two bottles of coconut soda. And there's two brands, there's, you know, Goya, of course, and there's Coco Rico. So, um, last time in the other video, I used Coco Rico. So, um, on that, so that's all the ingredients for the sauce itself, for the hot pot itself. Now, what you want to do on the side, or have it prepared overnight, and just refrigerate overnight, it's the beef, thinly sliced, and you hit the shrimp. Um, fresh shrimp, you know, you want to peel it and devein it. Then, for the vegetables, you want water crust, which looks like this. And then you want lettuce, and you want some mushrooms. Some people use squid <coughs> for the meat. Um, you know, my, my preference, I, I don't like squid with my stuff. And this is how the uh, noodles look like once you wash it and everything. And just as a tip, when you're washing the noodles, um, you're boiling the noodles first. And when they wait till they get soft. After that, just 
kind of rinse the film off of it. It has a white coating on there. So you want to rinse it off with cold water instead of hot water. Because if you don't, if you do the exact opposite, it would taste like rubber. So and this is how it looks like after it's done. So and this is the wok. Um, or not the wok, I'm sorry. The uh, pot that you put the sauce in. You put it to the temperature, the highest temperature, and you just, you know, um, put the beef and the shrimp in first, and whatever, if you like your your meat rare, medium rare, it's up to you. Take it out once it's done, up to your liking. And I think that's about it, you know, and I hope this clarifies anything or any questions or any negative comments that was made on my other video. Um, I, you know, you're totally entitled to your, to your opinions, but um, I spe specifically didn't like the negative comments, but who cares? But at least now you know how I really speak, and this is how it's really done. So, I hope you like that video, and I hope you subscribe to my channel. So, Asian Goddess, Asian Goddess, CLT.